Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This is gonna be a fun one. I've got a fun week ahead of me. I'm so excited to take you along for the ride. Today is Wednesday the 6th of March. Halfway through the week already. I've just made myself a cinnamon bagel, having a sip of orange juice. It is 23 minutes past 10 a.m. Damn, Sarah's coming. So I am going to nip out. I don't have Heidi this morning. My friend Emma Gardner has Heidi taking her to her mom's, which is really cute. And so I have a trial free morning and then I'm getting Heidi back at 12. So this week I'm going to Joe Malone tonight, being invited back. It's been a long time. I have popped in with Heidi into their new store in Union Square when Heidi was probably like a month old. It was so long ago and I was in a daze like, yeah. And then, um, so that's really fun. Excited to see their new store, their new collection. I'm gonna take you with me, I'll show you it as well. And then this week I've got a date night with Lewis. I've even bought a new dress. I've got a child free evening of Heidi. My sister's gonna take Heidi overnight with Mike. So that's nice. And then on Saturday, don't really have too much on. Got a Mother's Day lunch with Lewis's side of the family. And then on Sunday, I have got my sister's baby shower. My sister is gonna be 36 weeks pregnant. She's expecting a baby boy at the start of April. My little nephew, another little nephew for me. And yeah, basically I'm planning this baby shower, I'm prepping for it, and I'm going to collect bits and bobs, show you it all, and yeah, we can just hang out for the week. It's gonna be a fun one, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, because if I saw a mum at 23 minutes 10 in the morning with a full face of makeup on, hair straight, it's clean as well, I would be mad, but I'm only like this because I don't have Heidi. Me and Heidi probably wouldn't really be out of bed yet. So just if any mum's feeling crap that I'm up and I'm ready because of the time of day, because I know I would feel crap if I was watching a mum looking like this at this time in the morning. I, d I haven't had Heidi, just so you know. I'm back, so I think it's like probably half one now. Um, Heidi's just had a screaming match, so that's cute and I'm covered in vomit so love that for me I am just going to quickly show you what I got so from Thoughts and Crosses which is like a local business um, in Aberdeen I asked them to do these little key rings which are little favours for Bryony's shower on Sunday and because it's family I just got like like this one says uncle on it which is really cute. So just a key ring. I've got ones that say auntie and mum and all that on it, which is really sweet. And then I also just got this little gift for Bryony, just like a little keepsake thing. And it's like a pregnancy test. It's actually a lot bigger, which I love. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. And um, it just says baby McDermott due April 2024, which I just thought was really lovely. I think my sister like I think my sister would like that. All the organza bags are pink, which is really cute, but Bryony's having a boy. And I did buy, yeah, I've got some organza bags here, but they're absolutely tiny. So I actually think I'll probably maybe keep to this little pink ones for just now. Anyway, I'm going to sort all that out. I also bought Bryony this little baby blanket. Oh, so cute and so soft from Home Bargains. I've just got our gifts here for Gabe and Amelia, which is Mike's children, which is Bryony's baby boy's brother and sister. I got these tops for the shower. So this one just says big sister and Amelia on it. And then this one says big brother and Gabe on it. And then my mum and Lewis told me the other day that Gabe's already a big brother, but he's gonna be another big brother. So I'm just gonna wrap those as well. And I've got Bryony's, I've just got like a little bucket here. That I think I got in Primark in Manchester. And then this little baby grow born in 2024. I've just got Bibs, um, dummies and everything in there. I'm just gonna kind of make like a little hamper out of this. I'm so crap at like gift wrapping. I just really, I love doing it, but I'm so crap at it. And then I also got this for Amelia just to keep her entertained on Sunday. I'm just gonna wrap that up because there's nothing better than having little presents to open. And then I'll show you the big present from me to my sister when I get around to it. Actually, because this is the biggest gift to my sister, I'm gonna try and cover this here. 
I bought her a Zara maternity bag, actually identical to mine. Look how beautifully wrapped it comes. I don't want to disturb it. I maybe won't. This like grey kind of colour. Uh, is it? Yeah, like grey. Mine's is more nude and cream, but hers is grey. Oh, this is really nice. The name looks so cute on it. Eek. And then inside the bag comes like a changing mat. Yeah, I'm just going to wrap this up sort out the other prezies and we'll catch you after. First of all, whose baby is over there napping? I don't know because she doesn't belong to me. Um, Heidi, fingers crossed, has gone down for 20, 30 minutes every now and again during the day. So maybe nap time has begun. I don't want to speak too soon. Anyway, I've just made the biggest crappest job of this ever and you better not laugh at me. I'm just not good at this. I just wish I was. So, like, first of all, what is that? And here, it doesn't even close. Do you know what's really annoying? Lewis's sister is so good at this kind of thing and it, she's coming around tonight so I kind of just wish I had left it for her today. But I've, I've winged it. I've also wrapped up the Zara bag and the little gifts for Gabe and Amelia. That is it for now and I'll catch you guys at Joe Malone later. Hello, good evening. It is about half past four and um, I can see Natasha's like part right behind me. We we're just heading into Union Square just now. It's so excited. I needed this. I've just had like the hour from hell with Heidi. So this is needed. Right, here we are. It's happening. We're entering the new shop. <laughs> yeah. I took Heidi in when she was like a month old. I love yeah. the colours. I know, I love the, the colours. colours are beautiful, inspired by the antiques and the treasures that you buy at the, it's with the gold it, rim. And yeah. it does, it just makes that bit of classic. Yeah, a bit, a bit more luxurious, yeah, you know. It. Makes yeah, that's it really nice. And it is a beautiful box. It's a sturdy box. And so I'll if show you were it. to buy any of these, is that what yeah. it would come in? Uh, what do you call it? Waitress? Yeah. <laughs> she was working as a waitress in the cotton <laughs> bar. I don't know Where's your tray though? You need a... We don't we have a tray actually. We have a Joe Malone We box. have got it. <laughs> the tray's but I don't know. I was trying to find it at the weekend. You couldn't find it. In my huge Hetzel's drawer. Because that's where it lives. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's also cleaning cloths and this <laughs> Right, so that's a Prosecco. Thank you. And both in case you don't like. Amazing. Thank you. So we're going to have a ginger beer. It smells like... I thought it would be refreshing. like... Ginger oh, beer. No, no. The ginger beer is absolutely stunning. And it's the... Is it alcoholic? No. No. Okay. no. Yeah. Taste test. It's good for your belly. Is that right? You feel good. Yeah, you feel a bit squeamish. Is it? No, someone in here yeah. has told me that if you feel sick or something, you're right to have ginger beer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ginger I tea. Do you know what? I, can taste, I can taste the benefits that that would give me. So if you've got a slice of ginger and some herbal, water, it's like it belongs, you belongs in Holland and Barrett. Yeah. No, it no, belongs with a gin. <laughs> oh, a gin. <laughs> so why have you got so much ginger beer? Because of this. Oh, it's ginger beer flavors. Oh, because that, that is inspired by old ginger beer, ginger beer bottles. bottles. Oh. That's kind of ceramic. Oh. Oh. You're so beautifully tanned. Is this a Molly May? No, this is. Can you tell you what this one is? Mm -hmm. How did you find the Molly May one? I liked it, but it wasn't as dark as I thought it was going to be. No. I got ultra dark and I put two layers on. And I still put tan on the next one. Oh, did you? She didn't need to be on the no. darker. No, 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 not this, not this time. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> and who tanned your back? Me. Yeah. So usually there's like a white mark in the middle. <laughs> Where you haven't reached. Yeah, Matty refuses sometimes. You should get a loofer. You know, you get I the long have, handled But I just feel like sponge. I'm not like strong enough to like really like get in there, you know? I think yeah. like a, you know, a coat hanger, like a corner oh, yeah. Oh, gee. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is so good today. So 
so these scents here are the new ones, the limited edition Brit collection. And look at this gorgeous gift wrap here, the little box comes in, which you could keep forever, pop your little jewellery in there. It's so stunning. These candles are gorgeous as well. So pretty. Look at that. Look at the new shop. Look how beautiful it is. So pretty. So, so pretty. And is this free? Yes. service. Complimentary service. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh that's, that's so, so cute. cute. Oh. You smashed that. I know. Well, it's the first time I've done it. Right, to be honest, because normally it's food. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. So neat. So we've got a vegetarian wrap. Yeah. And we've got chicken thighs, spicy rice, and chips, and you went mash. I went mash, yeah, and I'm concerned about this because it should be in my bag, so... Although I think there is some in my wrap. But did you order this side? Because I ordered that pinnace. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, it's well, probably yours then. <laughs> so it's yours going to be in your wrap. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. hopefully yours is in there. Yeah. So I'm just home! We had Nando's. Well, I had Nando's with Natasha after the event, which was really nice. Lewis got in the video. Just pouring out some orange juice here. Riveting stuff, that's it out. Cheers. We've got astronaut Heidi Chops. <laughs> yeah, we do. And I'm going to clean up our astronomical pee on the changing map. <laughs> Sounds like you've had a fun evening. These things don't happen with me, do they? Anyway, I had such a lovely evening um, at Joe Malone once again. Check out the new Brit collection, stunning! Um, and they're also different, the ginger beer, definitely my fave. I got another goodie bag, I can't wait to show you! I had a little sneak peek because these things just excite me so much. Also, the Aberdeen store, they now have the personalisation area, so any of your boxes, your perfumes, candles... <laughs> I thought you were her! <laughs> um, you can get all that personalised now. And look, I got a little RB. I don't know if you can see it. It's just sitting ready for my Mother's see? Day perfume. <laughs> it's ready for my Mother's Day perfume. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> and then, in here, look at the beautiful spring colours. I've got English pear and freesia. Body and hand wash. It's the gel. I need to get one of those whippers now to make it all for me. <laughs> Can I just say, by the way, looking after her on her own is so hard when she needs bed and change and everything at the same time. <laughs> like, my brother and sister were here tonight. We had a nice night. We cooked tea. We chilled. As soon as they left, Heidi went into war zone mode. Mm. And honestly, did literally like she needed her clothes changed. She peed everywhere. I had, had a bottle ready. Like, that is hard work when you're on your own. But see, when I'm here, like. <laughs> Ree will change her and I'll go and get the bottle and everything just seems like so easy because we're doing it together. Yeah. As soon as you've lost half of that team, She's hard, hard work. <laughs> Hi guys, it is now Friday and we've got a child free evening. Um, Heidi is going to my sister and Mike's house tonight. Um, no idea what time yet, but uh, Lou and I have a little bit of a date night, which is really, really fun. We have booked Grape and Grain, which is a little wine bar. It's actually probably my favourite place to go in town at the moment. Um, it's a little wine bar. We are going there for seven o'clock, and then we've got Café Boheme booked, which is a French restaurant just on Wilmobray. Win Wilmobray, I think. We need, need a wine. It's Friday. I need a wine. And just like that, I'm ready for date night. And yes, I'm still living in my red and pink era like it's Valentine's Day because <laughs> I'm loving it. Um, I blow dried my hair with the Dyson Air Wrap last night, put some curls in it, loving it. Hopefully it'll last for a week, probably will. I've just popped a cute little bow in the back of my hair. Love it, never gets old. Yeah, so I've just got this little LBD from ASOS. And yeah, it's quite, it's like, 
It's actually really short for me because it like you can see my knees, which I always hide because they're fat and ugly, but the right for tonight, even Luce is like, that dress is quite short for you. I was like, I know. And um, big black heels on. But yeah, the, these clip on and off. They're like, um, so it can go in the dishwasher. No, the wash machine. And I'm just taking out my little black coach bag that Luce bought me for my birthday. Lovely, and I've got a black blazer. I don't think I'm gonna take my camera out with me tonight because We'll just live in the moment, won't we? Yeah. I'll try and video some food and we can discuss it tomorrow. But yeah, grape and grain for wine. Probably some bread and olives. Oh yes, please. Do they give us nibbles? Ooh. Well, I think you have to pay for them, but yeah. I will pay for them. <laughs> Ready for some Prosecco and red wine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just waiting on our taxi now and we'll speak tonight or tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You would not believe the last, what, 12 hours of my entire life. Let me fill you in. Last night was beautiful. The most gorgeous date night I've been on in a very long time. Like, the drinks and the cocktails and everything were amazing at Grape and Grain. It, I was saying to Luce, it's like my favorite bar in Aberdeen. I absolutely love it in there. The staff are so nice. The food is so good. I'm actually going on Thursday with my friend Ellie. I just love it there. And then we went to Cafe Bohem for dinner. <laughs> the food is to die for. It was spenny, I think we were about 153 pounds, but we both had three courses. We had 500 ml like carafe of wine and 10% service charge, but I pay every time instead of like, you're 60 quid going to TJ Fridays or 60 quid going to Wagamama's. Do you know what I mean? So 150 for that quality of food and drink and service. Mm. Mwah. Love it. Then, during dinner, Bryony phoned me last night and obviously Heidi was with Bryony, so I was like, why is Bryony phoning me? Like, she's been sending me messages, like photos of her saying, have a good night. She's settled, she's sleeping. So I was like, why is Bryony phoning me? Her waters had just broken. So we had to go to Newton Hill and get Heidi back. So we've got Heidi. And I have said on this channel several times, my sister is so disorganized, won't pack a hospital bag until like, baby's born kind of thing. Pick all the stuff back up from the hospital, on the way home from the hospital. Well, here I am on my Saturday morning. Lewis is off, he's bathing Heidi at the moment. He's absolutely smashing it, by the way. I'm away to run to Brian's house, pack a hospital bag. I need to go to Asda and get some clothes that she needs, like 90s and stuff and take them to the hospital. So baby shower's canceled tomorrow and I'm absolutely gutted about it, but I still have stuff to go and collect like balloons. So I'm gonna have to go and do that. I need to do that before 2 p.m. It is 10 to 11, so I need to go up because I feel like her little baby boy could be here at any moment. I'm not gonna post this video until baby's here, but the baby needs to be here within the next week. And baby isn't due. Bryony's 35 weeks and five days. But let's do this for Bryony. <laughs> let's go. Right, I've arrived at Brownies. I'm absolutely starving, but it'll all be vegan stuff here, so that's a big fat no from me. And uh, Norman's here. Hello, little normies. No. He is the scariest cat ever. Brian's like, he's so gentle, he's so lovely, but he looks like he would absolutely kill you. Right. <sighs> I've got my own hospital bag that I use from Primark, so I'm just gonna throw some stuff in here. And then I've obviously, you'll have seen earlier in the video, I've actually wrapped Bryony's bag. 
um, her changing bag. But I refused to like open the bag and fill it. Like, I want Brian to unwrap the wrapping paper I went out to get, do you know what I mean? So, I'm just gonna stick some stuff from here. There's lots of stuff going on here. And I'm gonna throw all of this into these bags Norman's left me. And yeah, then I'm gonna head up to the hospital. I've just, well, I need to go to Asda. I need to get something to eat because I feel dreadful. Yeah, let's do it. Let's pack Bryony's hospital baby bag. <laughs> right, I'm emotional anyway. Like, actually a way to cry. And I have just opened this drawer. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I've just opened this drawer and it's got like some of Heidi's newborn bits in it. And it has just totally caught me off guard. Look, I just opened this, which is hella neat anyway, but look, I just literally spotted these and these were mine and Lisa's favorite little vests to put her in. Oh my God, I was not expecting any of this, but oh my God, this is amazing. I wish I was this kind of mum, but I'm not. Holy moly, like that literally just like, oh. That got me. Right, in the car, just been into Asda. I've just picked up a ham and cheese sandwich. It actually looks so good. And I also picked up Bryony some nighties, some big pants. Honestly, these pants, if you're expecting, Bryony's worn them most of her pregnancy. And I wore them at the end of my pregnancy. And then they were so good for wearing pads when Heidi was born. So I bought her some more of them. I actually bought her some tiny baby because it saves up to six pounds. Um, so just tiny baby, ba tiny baby, baby grows and then tiny baby vests as well, just to put underneath them. I don't know if she'll want them, but Heidi was a week late. She was eight pounds two, was she? And her newborn clothes were big for like a week. So I think if her baby's due, if her baby's born a month early, She'll need little baby clothes. I also picked it up some big 90s. Um, so it was like two for 12 pound. I've got some crisps and then some Dr. Pepper. And this is all the stuff I've just packed for her. And there's some stuff in there. But yes, I'm gonna head to the hospital now, see her and I'll catch up with you then. <sighs> I'm honestly so stressed. I think I could cry. I just got home from the hospital. Totally missed lunch with Lewis's family. Not much happening now. I've just been to Tesco. Lewis is coming home. I'm going to sort out the house before he goes out. I've got to take him to a stag do. <laughs> so it's just me and Heidi Pops tonight, which I'm really excited for because I haven't seen her very much recently, I don't feel. So yeah, I've just picked up some Nest Cakes. Oh, my favourite. I'm gonna have that with coffee when I get home from taking this to the stag day. I bought these because these sweet potato fries in the air fryer from Tesco, unreal. Mayonnaise, hot sauce, mm, love. And then I'm sick of not having stuff for breakfast. It's been such a crazy couple of days. So I bought these on Club Card and they'll, they last like a month. So at least I'll have something. I bought all butter croissants as well. I've got, these raspberries and then for dinner tonight because I'm by myself I've just got this spicy pizza spicy salami and and onion pizza with fire oh yeah I'm gonna have that and then just bought these um Tesco's own juice so anyway I'm just gonna stop this video just now I will pick it back up tomorrow for my first ever Mother's Day but I don't think we've got plans I'm really gutted this weekend just hasn't turned out how I want it to but my baby nephew, update, baby nephew could be here, when is it? In the next, well, he could come any time now. There's a high chance that he could come very soon, so Brian has to stay in for 48 hours in the hospital. But um, if he's not here by next weekend, she'll be induced to have him then. So very, very, very soon, and I'm very, very, very excited about that. She's got everything she needs now, so I feel a bit better about that. Yes, I will catch you tomorrow for my first Mother's Day. Hello guys, so it's about 10 days later. I'll update you with Bryony in my next video, but I'm just closing this one off because it's actually getting really long and I'm gonna post my Mother's Day as a separate video. It'll just be a tiny little Mother's Day video, um, which will be my next one. And I'll just update you with Bryony then. 
Um, so please ignore the absolute state of me. I've had like two hours sleep in like two days. But yes, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on my next video. Bye!